A firefighting crew is in the hospital tonight after their helicopter crashed in Riverside County. Their aircraft went down as the pilot was trying to land at Bar Banning Airport this afternoon. The chopper was helping fight the Fairview fire in Hemet. And that's where KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live with more on the crash and the firefight. Lori. Yeah, beyond the roadblock behind me uh, is one of the many areas where mandatory evacuations have now been lifted and turned instead into evacuation warnings, meaning people can return to their homes as long as they stay on alert. Those deputies behind me are checking ideas, IDs before they let just anybody go up into the neighborhoods. As you said, uh, the work, though, and the danger continues, and one of the choppers helping in this firefight crashed this afternoon. Sure enough, I seen the helicopter. It was like, like twirling, like if you know, as like, I, like how they see in movies. And I was like, wow. Locals could not believe their eyes as this chopper went down just yards from the Banning Airport where it was headed. Cal Fire says there was a malfunction moments before landing. The Benuelos family watched it spiraling from their backyard a block away. It starts like spinning, Coming but then down. it started slowly falling down, and then it just fell down and pieces went everywhere. Helping other aerial crews spot where to drop water and retardant on the Fairview fire. A spokesman says all three on board were transported to a trauma center with moderate injuries. Uh, when we hear uh, operations like this go down, especially our aircraft, because those are those are our firefighters, and so we take it very seriously. A scary setback as crews are getting the upper hand on the Fairview fire and getting people like Victor Rogers' family back home. He says the fire started a quarter mile from their house after the storms from Hurricane K helped slow its spread. Mandatory evacuations in the Citrus View neighborhood were reduced to a warning Saturday. Well, luckily, our our power is now back on and but our water lines are damaged. Cal Fire says that's the concern when it comes to allowing people back into homes inside the burn scar. Hazards as such as down power lines. So we got to make sure that electricity is back up. Uh, make sure they you know, have running water. Make sure there's no heat from old growth um, stumps. We have to make sure that it's safe for residents to go back. Rogers is glad to have something to go back to. He says he and his wife have been holding their breath for days, watching the fire and firefighters battle. Unfortunately, we were on a roller coaster of did our places survive or not. Each night the fire would reach our homes and then we couldn't see anything. And the next day we would get notice from friends um, that the fire did not take the homes. Now, federal investigators will now look into what caused that crash. Meanwhile, other aerial crews will have to take over the vital work that that chopper crew was doing, helping to spot where to drop water and retardant on the fire, Fairview fire as this battle continues. We are live in Hemet. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.